Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. It feels fantastic. Well, the, the first thing that I would say is that your power is in your authenticity. Uh, it, I think it's more important today than ever before in what is a very entrepreneurial world that we're living in to speak from your own heart and follow what, what your true ideas are as opposed to trying to fit into uh, a, a, a system or an expectation that you think others have for you. I think it's the most entrepreneurial period that I've ever seen in my career. Uh, I also think that uh, there's great power in being fooled and seduced by the status quo. And uh, if you really want to success, succeed, you have to be a disruptor. One, one question on Last question. Does anybody else have a question? Yeah, so we have sequels coming up. How do you decide whether films that it gets? Well, our decisions about sequels are really made um, from two perspectives. One is, do we have a story that we want to tell? And the second is, do we believe that the audience wants to hear another story? Um, and uh, the hardest time I ever had in cracking a sequel was actually back in my Fox days, which was the sequel to Ice Age. Ice Age 2 was just the biggest struggle. Uh, the story just didn't want to come. Uh, but in really in the last eight years of illumination, uh, we found with Despicable Me and now with Pets and Sing that the process of continuing the lives of these characters has come very organically. Is there somebody in the back? Sorry, sorry, thank you. I'm sorry, guys. We just we're back up a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. Congrats. Thank you. I know.